Hi guys, welcome to this video on um, prompt engineering, specifically how to engineer a prompt that ha that is quite detailed but really isn't getting the the results that you want. So I've borrowed a prompt from Dura Egan. They asked the specific question about getting the eyes better in the creation that they'd done. So we'll, I'll walk you through that and there's a lot to learn here. And it's just the subtleties of manipulating prompts, really. So that's the prompt. So let's let's run the prompt. I'll just use nines at the moment. Okay, this is the initial results from that first one. There's a bit of not safe for work there. Yeah, the eyes aren't up to much. That one's okay, but pretty messy. So how do we fix that? So the first thing to do is actually look at the prompt itself. Okay, there's no mention of eyes there at all. So. What we want to do is try and reinforce the fact that we want good eyes. You know, we want nice eyes um, in this creation. So let's see if we can kind of increase the, the quality of the eyes. Stunningly clear. In fact, let's just keep stunningly out of it at the moment. Clear eyes. Clear eyes symmetrically placed with symmetrical beautiful eyes. Right, let's try that for the for the time being. Now, too many words has popped up. I'm going to remove a couple of things that I would straight away. I'm going to remove the oil painting aspect. And um, we'll start there. Reason for that, although although it gives really nice results, it's oil based. And if you look at oil based paintings, you know they are the, the way the medium works, you can get quite messy eyes. I'm going to go back up to 16. Okay, so straight away, eyes are better. And we've got, apart from that one there, we've got two eyes facing us in every picture. So let's have a look at them. Yeah, they're pretty good. It does look better. Yeah, that one's definitely better than anything we've had before. Yeah, good eyes. Oh, there's a nice one. So is there anything we can now do to make them even better? So we'll just go back and duplicate it. So let's have a look. I'm going to remove the matte painting and the maximalist. I don't think it's helping. and I'm not even sure if it's doing that much. Um, incredibly detailed eyes. Um, and I'm also going to go and see if I can find um, a shame, do a bit of prompt research. So. Um, I probably searched for this earlier. Celtic shame and portrait art artists. Um, go to images and see if we can find something that we're looking for. Let's see if that's going to let me get our name out of that. Yeah. So back to the prompt. So let's have a little added incredibly detailed eyes. I took out the matte painting. Um, and I'm going to remove Anna Dittman because if I look at Anna Dittman's paintings, you'll see, you know, they are weird eyes anyway, look. So let's remove her and we'll put in polished artwork by and leave it at that, see what we get, see if we get an improvement. So here are the results of that one. Yeah, the eyes are definitely better. Look at those ones are pretty cool. Those ones even look better, although they're small. They're definitely better. Those ones look good. Those ones are wicked. Those ones not bad. Not bad. So yeah, those are pretty. Yeah. Those are lush. They are really nice eyes. Really, really nice eyes. They're still a bit... Mm, but you can see what I'm doing. So I'm adapting. I'm, I'm, I'm using the prompt, the strength of the original prompt, and just adapting it to try and get closer to and what we're looking for. Now those, is it the, it's because yeah, the green's striking. It's maybe a little bit too much. But we've got some nice eyes there, for sure. Um, so that's basically it. I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to try, I'm going to get rid of some of the um, HD stuff. 
I'm going to take this up to, uh, let's try 32k resolution and um, let me see if I can change some other things. Let's try, um, no, not there. Here, maybe. No, I don't want to use that. I want to use... Let's check the modifiers. They always come in handy sometimes. Uh, none of those. Yeah, let's see if we can use some of the photography... Mm -hmm. Stock photo in 4K. Let's see if we get away with that. Don't want it there though. And um, and more than um, the other models, you know, artistic and coherent. Stable seems to like things placed in different places. Um, or or it, or it makes a big difference. So clear, symmetrically placed, clear eyes, symmetrically placed, stock photo 4K. And I'm going to change the sampling method to that. Um, if you don't know what that is, check my other videos for that. And let's see how, let's see if we get any better results. So we're getting some interesting results now. So what did we change in this one again? Yeah, we added the stock photo. Um, the stock photo 4K we've now you know the eyes are getting proper good now you know they're good they're pretty wicked let's have a look at that yeah they're not bad they're good 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 really good I like those a lot bit spacey good bit weird. Got some right in there as well. Cool. So as you can see, um just keep adapting. I done another one, um, just duplicated that other one I added. Um I removed the 4K stuff and I put in photorealistic ultra sharp no, I think that was already there. Photorealistic and hyper realism. And let's see if we got Nice, clear, shiny. Uh, not bad, not bad. They're good. Yeah, not bad, uh, not really. So as you can see, you, you know, you get the drift. Um, just keep adapting, keep pushing, and um, keep changing. Do some research um, and you'll get there in the end. Um, I will be doing more prompt engineering, if that's what you want to call it, um, images, uh, video tutorials, so keep an eye out. Also look down at the bottom of this video in the video description for your discount codes for merchandise, credits and subscriptions at Night Cafe. Anyway, I hope this helped you out. Um, if you do join and you come into the Discord, Give me a shout. Just say hi. Um, you can DM me or, you know, message me or whatever just to say hello and I'll um, get back to you. Anyway, thanks very much for watching the videos and I'll speak to you soon. Tell bye.